Hey everybody, Random Frank P. And I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, on my streams and on my videos, what mic I use for doing voiceovers and during my live streams on Twitch. And uh, today I'm going to show you what that mic is, and it is the Audio Technica AT2020. It is a USB microphone. They also have it in XLR for cheaper, but obviously you can't use XLR directly to your computer. So it's a USB, so you can just plug it right in, and uh, you're good to go. And it is one of the best sounding mics that I have heard for this price range. You can get it anywhere from like 90 to 120 depending on where you look. I got this for 60 bucks off eBay. And uh, one of the best decisions I've made for helping upgrade my channel in terms of uh, better sound quality. So if you're looking to use a mic such as this one for uh, Twitch or doing voiceovers for your YouTube videos, I highly recommend this. I am now recording this audio with the AT2020 mic before I was using uh, the camera and you can hear the drastic difference. This is much clearer, much higher quality which makes it great for podcasting, uh, voiceovers, streaming on Twitch, all that good stuff. You can hear the difference. This is the polar pickup pattern for the mic. As you can see, it's in a cardioid style, which means it's going to record mainly everything in front of you with some of the uh, sound coming from the back. It's, it's more of like a heart shape, as you can see. And in case you didn't understand that diagram, this is a better uh, visual representation of how it actually looks for the other uh, pickup pattern. I will put the link in the description below for the Amazon link. As you can see here, it's currently 130, but you can find it cheaper, used, or refurbished. And uh, they do have a lot of flash sales, and this will give you all the specs on the information you need if you want to check out further information on it. Taking a look around the mic itself, you'll see on the bottom, it's not a normal uh, female end for USB. It's not like a micro or mini USB. It's a special kind that usually comes with other audio equipment and other high-end technology stuff like uh, printers use this kind. So you just need this type of USB to plug it into the bottom of the mic and the other end, normal USB, into your computer. Since everyone loves pros and cons, I think I'd do a few of those. Some pros for the price, and if used properly, this thing is crystal clear with very, very little static and uh, background noise that could easily be edited out. Um, it records in stereo, and the form factor of this is great. It's very small and discreet, makes it very portable to transfer back and forth, unlike something big and clunky like the, uh, the Blue Yeti, per se. This will fit right in front of your computer without distracting you, you know? Now for the cons, my only major complaint is that there's no um, controls on the mic itself. Now you, there's Some mics have like a mute button or a volume dial on the mic. This one does not, which means you have to do everything either in a program to edit the audio or through your computer's uh, sound options. And another con that's kind of little because it's not really what this mic's used for, but say you're doing a product review and you have your mic stationed somewhere by the product and you're talking, it's not going to pick it up really well because this isn't meant for being right in front of your mouth. You know, that's that's something you would need for like a, like a shotgun mic. So this is not really geared towards something like that. And for this last part, I'll do another comparison between the sound qualities between uh, different devices so you can hear. So this is the sound quality for the Audio-Technica AT2020 mic. This is the sound quality for my built-in mic on my MacBook Pro. All right, and this is the mic test for the Razer Kraken 7.1 surround sound headset. All right, everybody, it's been my uh, little overview and little show and tell for you guys for the AT2020 uh, USB microphone. Hope you enjoyed, and if you honestly, like if you're thinking about picking this up, do check it out. I'll drop a link in the description so you can find it on Amazon. And um, I really think it's gonna be your best bet in terms of sound quality, because as you heard, in the little review and comparison I did, it just it blows everything else that I've tried before, and uh, compared to what some people use with like a headset or their uh, their inline mic on their uh, laptop, I think this is just the best option, no doubt. And for the price, it's really not even that bad. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please hit subscribe if you enjoyed, and hit thumbs up. Uh, yeah, all right, that's uh, that's my little review. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.